Hey, what's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here, and today we have another Hidden Fates Friday. Um, no real gimmicks this time, I'm just going to try and <laughs> open up and see what I can get here. Uh, I don't think I've had any decent luck putting all that stuff out there, so we're just going to try and just do it just regular and see how it goes from there. I do have my sleeves ready, which I'm kind of running low on Hidden Fates sleeves, so I'll have to order some more. Um, I got codes off to the side, so we're all good there. We're going to be opening up the Gyarados GX box as well as the Raichu Tin. So previously, um, both of these products have done really well for me, especially the Gyarados Tins. Um, so we're going to test our luck today and see how everything goes. Uh, another exciting Japanese booster box opening tomorrow. And I know I'm a little bit behind on all these because uh, some of these have been out for a minute. But uh, like I said, I'm just slowly opening them. Um, I do have a lot of stuff built up for my Japanese collection, uh, so let me know in the comments section below um, if you guys want to see that uh, and kind of when, um, meaning like what day, because you kind of see how like my schedule's mapped out already and I do have some random videos here and there, but um, yeah, if you want it to be like a secondary video on Saturday, uh, just let me know in the comment section below uh, and I'll try and make it work, but I have some really exciting stuff I want to show you. I just don't know when I should put out the content. So without further ado, let's get into these here. Again, absolutely amazing products here. And I still have at least one of each of these sealed and hidden off in a closet somewhere so I don't look at it and be tempted to open it. Um, that's another uh, collection idea that I want to go through um, because, like I said, I showed off a lot of my collection early on in this channel's life. Um, but if you want to see more of that, especially my Hidden Fates collection, uh, definitely let me know in the comments section below uh, and I'll do an episode where you know open a couple Hidden Fates packs uh, maybe we'll do like 110 or something like that um, and then I'll go into all of my sealed products so pretty interesting here we got three Mewtwo's and a Charizard so save the old Charizard one for last here is the code card for this best of luck to whoever gets that and of course the Jumbo Gyarados there, I'm just gonna leave it in this, especially because the way they package these is, I don't know, it's not the greatest, but there's no point in really taking it out and having it get bent or any more damaged. Uh, I am still working on getting like a binder for all the old Jumbo cards. I'll actually just leave this up here. Um, but I did find that Ultra Pro makes, they're really like for photos, um, but you can use uh, you can use the jumbo cards to fit in there as well. So it's like a hard plastic, just like a regular top loader. Um, but I got those coming in, so I'll test that out. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, I still haven't gotten to the um, the instructional video for, my goodness, sorry, for the, the bulk send and stuff. Again, I'm just trying to find a, a time frame to upload it. I got it all knocked out. Uh, and it's kind of formatted the way I want to, but like I said, I'm just trying to find a day to do it. It'll end up being like a double video for one of the days. Um, just because, like I said, I don't, I don't want to make one video crazy long. Um, especially with something like that where, you know, I want you guys to, or you guys have asked for, you know, informational or instructional videos. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So there we go there. We got those. So we got the tin packs on this side. And we got the box packs on this side. I'm going to do the tin first, and then we'll do the box, um, and we'll play it from there. Hopefully, we get some good stuff in both. Um, but, yeah, I'm definitely excited. I always like Hidden Fates Fridays. Um, we've only had, like, one bad one, which uh, we won't ever speak about again. <laughs> um, but outside of that, it's always a great time, and I appreciate all your guys' support. So, without further ado, let's get into the tin packs first. Um, the only chase card I have right now is the, uh, shiny GX Umbreon. That's literally the last card that I need to complete this set. And then I'm completely done. Uh, and then what I'll do is whenever I pull that, uh, I'll do another binder preview. Uh, and then I'll have it separated. So you see the regular set, uh, the shiny vault. And then, uh, for people that know what master set purposes are, where you have all like the reverse hollows, um, I'll have that in the later part of the binder. So. Should be pretty fun. Um, let's see what we're going to start off with here. Nice. Very good start here. Cartana as the shiny there. And behind that, a Jolteon. So definitely not a bad start. I'll take that. 
Remember last time I pulled this, I was really confused because I didn't realize that it also had a shiny GX. Um, yeah, it's just my brain was off that day, I guess. But yeah, definitely a good start there. Move that off to the side. All right, so get into this next one here. Hopefully everyone is doing all right out there. Uh, I know things are slowly getting back to normal. I know a good amount of people that are back to work and stuff like that, which is good. But still just be safe out there. Um, you know, take care of yourselves uh, and take care of the, the loved ones around you. We got Brock's Grit, Scyther, Good Luck Charm, Jinx, Eevee, Atkins, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, a Snorlax as the reverse and behind that, Missy's Water Command. So we got a Hollow. So nothing too crazy on that one there. But it's all right. We still got plenty of packs to go. Um, and especially with Hidden Fates, like I don't mind getting Hollows and stuff like that because um, I've gotten so many of them. But it's just, it's still a really fun set to go through and open. So no complaints there. Just moving all this off to the side. All right. So we got two more packs for the tin. And then we have the box packs. I'm interested to see which ones turn out to be better. Um, if I was to, to take a guess, I'd say my tin luck is better than my box luck. Um, but you never know. So another good luck charm here with Scyther. We got Brock's Grit, Graveler, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, a Mew is the reverse, and behind that, a Electrode. All right, so nothing too crazy. We've had one good pull out of the tin so far. Hopefully we can get at least one more before we move over to the box. And of course, we got the old shiny Charizard there. He's hanging out up top as well. Just kind of supervising, make sure everything's going good here. So let's see what we can get in this last pack. For the tin anyway. Like, well, nope, that's the video. See you guys later. Uh, one, two, three, and four to the front. And the flip. All right. Move that off to the side. We have Sabrina and Charmeleon. Chansey, Atkins, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Weezing as the reverse, and behind that, all right, so we got something decent. Uh, we got a Starmie GX there, or at least we got a, a GX pull. So we got um, we got the, uh, the baby shiny, if you will, uh, and then we got that GX. So definitely not too bad out of the 10, I'll take it, uh, especially for being two out of four. Uh, I've had better luck, and I've also had a lot worse. So, again, no complaints there. All right, let me move this off to the side. Then we will get into the box packs. Uh, <clears throat> if you guys are enjoying this, obviously like the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend it. I put out content every single day, usually around noon to 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um... And yeah, we've got a lot of great videos coming for the rest of this month and going into next month as well. I do have plenty of Dragon Majesty in finally, so that's good to, to see. Uh, we've got a lot of Shining Legends still stacked up, so those those series still have plenty of life in them, uh, even after I pull all the cards that I need. But um, yeah, and then I still have a bunch of Japanese booster boxes. Uh, we've got a lot of good stuff coming up, so and a couple surprise things that uh, I'm definitely looking forward to going through. So. Uh, yeah, stay tuned and hopefully you guys are enjoying everything so far. So we got Brock's Gym, Metapod, Giovanni, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Brock's Grit as the reverse, and behind that, Brock's Training. Nice. Kind of interesting to get both of those together. So nothing too crazy, but I'll take it. All right, move these off to the side. All right, we have three more packs here, and then we'll do the recap. Hopefully we can get a shiny GX out of this. It would be nice. But again, uh, you know, I don't try not to, like, expect anything or get my hopes up, but just enjoy opening this stuff up, and hopefully we get some good stuff along the way. So there's another code card for you. Uh, again, if you get a code, let me know in the comment section below what you end up getting. Um, because there's not really that many codes given out in these openings, um, Try not to, to be a code goblin. Uh, just try and be fair. You know, if you take one or two, that's awesome. Uh, but, I mean, obviously there's people out there that are going to try and grab every single one. Um, but, yeah, just throwing that out there. Mr. Mime, and behind that, a Snorlax. 
All right, so nothing too crazy just yet. We still have two more packs left. So hopefully there's something in these last packs. We got good old shiny Mewtwo there. All right. And here we go on this one here. And one, two, three, and four to the front and the flip. Man, I'm getting hungry already. That's not good. Uh, we got Misty. We have Brock's Gym, Giovanni, Colferi, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Paris as the reverse. Man, we are not getting lucky with the AD Shining Pokemon here today. But it's all right. We got one pack left. Hopefully, there's something good in this last one here. If not, hey, I still had a good time opening this stuff up for you guys, and hopefully you will enjoy it as well. Um, and there will be plenty more Hidden Fates Fridays coming, so don't worry, this isn't the last time. Um, all right, so the last pack here, we got good old shiny Charizard there. Let's get this open. Let's see what he has in store for us here. All right, so, come on. There we go there, there's a code card for you. Best of luck to whoever gets that. And one, two, three, and four to the front. All right, and the final flip. Let's see what we can get here. We got Brock's Gym. We got Metapod. We got a Giovanni. We got Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans. All right, so no other shinies. It's all right, let's see what we have behind this. Nice. All right. So we'll take it. We got a Gyarados GX. Definitely not bad. And it's kind of funny because we just got, we opened up the promo one. So I'll take a look at that real quick. Show you a little bit of a comparison. I think it's cool how they did it because they're like facing the opposite way. Good to see both angles of Gyarados there. So definitely not bad. I'll take it. All right. So that's going to do it for today. Let me organize this stuff here. We'll get into this recap. Uh, and again, there's plenty more Hidden Fates Fridays coming. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and hopefully you've enjoyed them so far. Um, all right, so let's organize this real quick. Let me give out this last stack of codes. I'm, I'm working on that, being a little better, just keeping my eye on the codes on the table uh, and obviously keeping track of time because majority of the time I'll just get caught up in talking and then I realize, oh, the video's running long and just try to get through it. But uh, I'm keeping all the codes like within eyesight, like directly in front of me so I know, okay, I need to put these out. All right, so here is the recap. So we got that Gyarados GX promo card there. That is Sun and Moon 212. Very nice promo there. It's going to go into the binder with all the other ones. All right, so then we got the Starmie GX. Again, another solid card there. And that is number 14 of 68 in the regular pack. You know, I didn't realize this till right now, and I don't know why, but, like, it looks like there's Star U right there. Um... It's really weird that like I'm just noticing that, even though I've opened up so much of this. Um, but yeah, just something interesting, I guess. Uh, all right, so then we also got the Gyarados GX, the regular one from the set, and that is number 16 of 68. Again, another amazing card there. I love how just the whole artwork is absolutely amazing. And of course, the Kartana Shiny here uh, from the Shiny Vault. It is number 33 of 94 in that entire vault, which is absolutely nuts um it's definitely a huge set um but to me it's it's worth going through and chasing and i'm glad I've, i'm almost done with it um so here are the pulls from today i mean that's just the promo but um yeah not too bad again uh i've had a lot worse so i'll definitely take this and we'll keep pushing forward but oh obviously there's the right promo i always forget to do that sorry um but yeah that's gonna do it for today's video guys hopefully you enjoyed this opening if you did let me know in the comment section below and hopefully you're looking forward to more uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Again, another Japanese booster box opening. Hopefully I get some really good pulls there. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.